Dream World is the oldest theme park on the Gold Coast. This is the most heavy ride park in Australia and it has a very balanced lineup. You have a handful of coasters including the brand new Steel Type and Launch Coaster. Then there is a very strong and thrilling flat ride lineup that took me by surprise. So in this video, I will rank the top 10 rides at Dream World. Before starting the countdown, I need to note my loan visit took place in early 2023. It was sort of a transitional time for this park. They were in the process of retheming their entire kids area and two more coasters on the way. Meanwhile, the park had removed several rides over the past decade that likely would have made the list. The most notable of the bunch is Tower of Terror. This was only one of two Intamin reverse freefall coasters ever built. You were launched backwards at speeds of 100 miles per hour or 161 kilometers per hour. It was a drawn out launch and then you rocketed up Dreamworld Tower for some super sustained weightlessness. This ride closed due to increasing maintenance costs, but I have ridden and reviewed its near clone the USA and Superman at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Assuming they were identical, this ride would have placed around the 5th or 6th spot. Buzzsaw would have placed similarly. This was a Mauer Sone Skyloop. The ride now runs at Gamboya World as Project Zero. These rides have a freaky hang time filled inverted lift hill and two thrilling inversions high above the ground. You can find a review on my channel for the version at Magic Springs in Arkansas if you want to hear more about this type of ride. I also want to note that this list will only include attractions on the dry side. This means you will not see any water slides from the attached White Water World water park. I wish I could have gone over there because the slide lineup looked pretty good, but there simply wasn't enough time with the park's super short operating hours. They have a variety of tube slides and most notably, the Hydro Coaster Water Coaster. I love those types of slides. I also will not have any animal encounters or exhibits on this list. That being said, make sure to explore this section. It covers the entire back half of the park. There are some rare Australian animals back here like dingoes and koalas, and if you book them in advance, you can get up close to hold or even pet some of them. And there is also several opportunities to feed the animals, with the cheapest and most prominent being the open area where you can feed the kangaroos. Lastly, Giant Drop was unfortunately closed for a long refurbishment. This 390 foot or 119 meter tall Intamin Drop Tower is one of the tallest rides in the world. It was built on the side of the now removed Tower of Terror. I imagine the view of the park and surrounding area would have been stunning, and that would be followed by a fast and long plunge. For those who have ridden it, let me know if the drop feels similar to Zoom and Jaro at Six Flags Grey Adventure, or Lex Luthor at Six Flags Magic Mountain, or if it has a bit more oomph. Either way, I believe it would have claimed the second spot in this list. With all that covered, let's jump into the list. Number 10, The Vintage Cars. This antique car rides hidden in the very back of the park among the zoo animals. You have a windy course among the trees. It is a scenic juxtaposition to the rides in the front half of the park. There is one section where it looks like there may have been an animal exhibit, but it was just you and the trees during my 2023 ride. Number 9, The Escape Coaster. Usually, I dislike these old school Vacoma family inverts, but this one was actually decently smooth. The ride was tame, minus the final turn that had some force, but was a heck of a lot more enjoyable when you aren't constantly smashing your head. That being said, it does not hold a candle to the newer generation Vacoma suspended coasters. Those are much better rides. Number 8, Moto Coaster. This Intamin motorbike coaster is one of the weakest of the genre. The initial launch is okay, and the following turn has some decent force to it, but the rest of the layout isn't too eventful. You have a series of slow and drawn out turns. The later Moto coasters have realized this model is best at speed and quick transitions, but this one still has the fun unique riding position. I know some find this one uncomfortable. While the restraints are a royal pain to get in and out of, they didn't cause me any discomfort during the ride itself. Number 7, Shockwave. This San Perla Disco Coaster is a nice mix of spinning and weightlessness. You get some mild centripetal forces as the disc spins, and some faint negative Gs in the far spikes. Number 6, The Claw. This Intamin Gyro Swing has very little filler to it. It quickly jumps right to the max swings, which there are several of. You get good lifter airtime on the max swings, and it feels like you fully invert because of how far up you swing. Then the downswings contrast those negative Gs with good positive Gs and speed. 
I wish this one had the more freeing lap bars of their newer frisbees, but the forces are still delightful. Number 5. Serpent Slayer, aka formerly Pandemonium. I had heard that Dreamworld Zamperla Air Race ran a great cycle. I figured that meant it would run just for a long time. However, this one is far more intense than any other I've ridden. Usually, these rides invert slowly, giving you some hang time. Serpent Slayer does this, but it also has a section where it runs at double speed. I have never seen an air race move this fast. The rapid rotations are extremely disorienting and forceful. I started to gray out from the sustained G's. This ride is both a mild and wild setting, so make sure to queue up for the latter if you want the crazy ride I'm describing. Number 4. The Gold Coaster This was one of the final Aero Multi-Loopers. This coaster originally opened at Sydney's Luna Park before being relocated to the Gold Coast. Because of space constraints at its former home, it has a bizarre layout filled with near misses. After a shallow first drop, you have two overbanks. Then you have some fast low turns. You get some additional head choppers of the park's water slides, and the far turn is great positive G's. Then you have two inversions at the end of the ride. The reverse sidewinder has a whip up front and nice G's in back. Then the vertical loop is extremely forceful in all seats. It tries to slam your head into your lap. Last but not least, you have a shockingly fast unbanked turn to the brake run with great laterals, and because of the vest restraints, the experience is free of any head banging despite some shaky parts. Check out my review for more on the sneaky good looper. Number 3. Sky Voyager This flying theater should basically be called Soarin' Over Australia. You pass over some gorgeous locations, some natural beauties like Lady Musgrave Island, while others are big man-made cities like Sydney. The visuals were good, and the music accompanying them was perfect. Then I hope you like Mist, because there was a whole lot of it. More than I expected from this type of ride. Number 2. Tailspin. This Gerslauer Skyfly is incredible if you love inversions. You need to be patient and rhythmic to get that first flip, but once achieved, you can lock your wings in place and spend the rest of the ride quickly inverting. It is extremely dizzying flipping this fast and frequently. Just follow my method I've given in a separate video, and you can easily get 30 to 40 flips. And coming in, number one is Steel Typen. This mock creation is a near clone of Europa Park's Blue Fire with two key changes. First, you have a swing launch. While the acceleration isn't quite as abrupt as the single launch of Blue Fire, the first and second ones have okay kicks to them. Then the twisted spike is a cool element with some faint weightlessness, and more notably, crushing positive G's at the base. Second and more impressively, you have the tail whip spinning seat in the back. This takes the familiar layout and elevates it to a whole new level. The car spins at a very slow and controlled rate, even more so than the extreme spinners, but taking these elements sideways and backwards makes them so much better. You have some spots of airtime and four inversions that all get you out of your seat. The best part of this layout has always been that last barrel roll. It is similar to the Mosasaurus roll on Velocicoaster. When you add in the spinning aspect and possibly take it backwards, it may be a top 3 inversion in the world. While this ride is significantly better in that spinning seat as I noted in my review, it is still a fantastic coaster in the traditional forward seats. It is so re-rideable and diverse. So those are the top 10 rides at Dreamworld as of early 2023. I know this park's lineup has already changed quite a bit in recent years, and there's another sizable coaster on the way next year. What is your favorite ride at this park? Let me know what you think of any of the rides I mentioned, or I may have missed down below. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.